The game is boring. Le Chateau is a cozy city builder that is super minimalistic and all about just building tiny, cozy kingdoms. And well, people got bored. So I should probably fix that. The demo got played about a thousand times and it gained about three to four hundred wishlists during Steam Next Fest in October. People were making pretty kingdoms and such, but they did help me realize that the game was nowhere near done. The biggest problem being, they kinda got bored of it. And I definitely will fix that, but before I actually get to fixing that, I should probably fix another small problem first. In the game you can place all kind of buildings on your tiny islands, and the selection of buildings you can place is currently limited to about 6. Even though there were already over 20 different buildings in the game at this point, it always showed only a couple of them and forced you to place one of them before re-rolling that selection. But this is dumb. I really like the idea of giving players constraints in what they could build, like in the block the game Le Chateau is inspired by. The thing is, in that game it works because there's only two types of things you can place, an actual building and decoration. In Le Chateau that is not quite the case however, and especially because you are able to destroy the buildings you place, this just made no sense. So I made it that every single object that is in the game is part of this selection and you can switch between them freely. Problem fixed. Easy. However, that doesn't change anything about the game being boring. I only wish it did. That would make this video so much shorter and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm tired. Honestly, I never thought about it because I wanted the game to just be a cozy, tiny building game, but there were a good amount of players who just wanted something to do. So, um, what am I supposed to do? That was a fair question. And telling them to just take some animals, build and vibe wasn't quite cutting it. Cause clearly these people needed some kind of goal. Also, please don't take any edibles. <laughs> now the entire point of Le Chateau is to be cozy without any goals or challenges. So how could I even listen to this bit of feedback if it goes against the core design of the game? And that's right, I shouldn't. But I am a people pleaser and I'm weak which I don't think is quite relevant. But I also kinda like the idea of making the game carefree at first, but giving those that wanted some kind of goal something to do. So I added a scoring system. Voila, a bunch of scores that don't make any sense. <laughs> Like, yeah, I can see that this is a world. Why are you giving me that score? Symmetry? Just sharing my inevitable need for order. I will give you all the points in the world for it to look a little organized. Survival? For the frogs? No! Are you just defenseless? Or can your people sleep at night without a fear of Godzilla? Huh, didn't think he'd actually show up. And finally, happiness. I genuinely have no clue. <laughs> I think this is about the people. Like, are they getting any food or are they dying from hunger? I wouldn't be happy about that either. Yeah, it, it kind of sucks. It's inconsistent and just not that exciting. The animation is nice, but that's hardly going to inspire people to keep playing. It's disappointing and it's not that difficult to realize that the bigger the world, the higher score you can get. So filling up an entire 11 size circle world, that is the play. So no. No score. But then, what do I do? If not for a score, how could I give those players some kind of reason to play? And if I don't give them anything, does that mean my game will be a failure? Well, no, because I actually figured it out and it's surprisingly simple. Achievements. I've always really liked the idea of adding silly or super specific achievements to my games, like with my first game, Dance Assembly, or with Popmoji. Tried to beat the game backwards with Grandpa. What? So I figured I could just add some fun achievements to this game as well. Like like building a kingdom, but just not having any castle objects in them. <laughs> We're building basically an ocean. And of course, having more people than houses. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that one. <laughs> Stuff like that, that could give people a reason to play the game for anything other than just chill building for a couple of minutes. Players love achievement hunting, and while they aren't difficult or take much time like some achievements in Popmoji, they are a fun addition. And you know what? It gave me another idea. What if you start with a limited amount of objects unlocked and getting achievements unlocks new objects to build with? You don't have to go for the achievements, but there's a good chance you'll still get some of them just by playing casually. Might as well give the players the feeling that they're actually making some kind of progress. 
There isn't any technical aspect about any of this that's impressive or worth sharing. Other than showing how cool that window reveal is. Just look at the masking! But I do think that this edition is one of my better ideas. The game is supposed to be cozy, that is the main goal of the game. And now it still is, but those that feel like they need some kind of goal, they got it now. It's fun, it really is, and I'm sure people are gonna love it. Don't forget to wishlist Le Chateau on Steam right now, link in the description below. And while you're at it, subscribe to the channel. Bye!